Hello, my dear subscribers. It is Emma back in Benin and I'm in my house. That's a rare sight if you watch this channel. So first, what is this video about? Um, I want to tell you the six things that you need to be okay with before you do Peace Corps. Hey guys, it's Eminem back in Benin. I am in my house. This is a rare sight. Um, you can see there's my door to my room, my projector screen, my helmet, like all this stuff. My ceiling that rats live up there. Yeah. So today I really wanted to do this video um, about what you need to be okay with to do Peace Corps. What do you need to be okay with before you doing Peace Corps? Like not getting paid a lot, bugs, blah, blah, blah. Yes. All of this. Yes. <laughs> For you watchers that come back, my family, friends, whoever, seeing me in my house is kind of a rare sight for my youtube videos um i've been sick for a few weeks so now i'm back you can see my house in all its glory and i will post a house tour soon but let's get down to it what do you need to be okay with to join the peace corps so number one bugs living with you always crawling around flying around everywhere you need to be okay with bugs you don't need to love them. I certainly do not. But you need to be okay with killing them or with seeing them at basically every waking moment, maybe even sleeping moment. Yeah. You need to be okay with it because I have cockroaches, I have spiders, and I don't know, flying insects, sometimes wasps. That's the worst, but I have learned to kill them. So it works. Also, part two to the part one, like, you need to be okay with creatures being in your house. Lizards, mice, it, it really depends on where you are in Peace Corps, but lizards and mice are kind of like the staple. I had a bat in my house. Um, yeah, so you just gotta figure out what to do. Number two, you need to be okay with being hot all the time. Sweaty, hot completely exhausted, dripping sweat. You just need to be okay with it. You're gonna get used to it. Maybe it's taken me five months, but I'm getting there. And doing day-to-day -day tasks, like hot and sweaty, like now it's just kind of normal. At the beginning, it felt horrible and disgusting. But now I'm like, oh, whatever. Three, you need to be okay with not being able to take a shower for a while. Um, I can take showers when I go to a bigger city, but then obviously I'm paying for it. Or else it's just bucket bath, which if you're a girl or a guy with long hair, um, my hair does not get washed very often. It's a waste of water, it's a huge hassle, and I don't know, it just really sucks to wash your hair at sight. And I know other people agree with me, okay? This is not just me. I know the other volunteers Female volunteers do not wash their hair for like a week. Yeah, it's, ugh. that's why I'm wearing this wonderful headband. Yeah, and have my hair in a nice little braid. So that, you need to be okay with kind of feeling grimy and not really ever being able to clean yourself enough to where you feel clean. Even if I go into the Capitol and shower, it's just like, oh, I go outside and I'm all sweaty again. So it does suck, but I'm used to it now. I'm all right with it. Item four. This may be specific to Benin, but I'm going to guess it is a lot of places. You need to be okay with people always coming over or knocking on your door. That's just normal. Je ne vais pas ouvrir les portes. Je ne veux pas allumer le télé aujourd'hui. Hey everyone, it is a new day. Um, I just got caught in the middle of something during that, while I was shooting that, so... Okay, where were we? You need to be okay with people coming over to your house unannounced and knocking on your door and waking you up and giving you things. 
Now, this attention is great, but also when you're trying to get used to a new country and a new place you're living and people just keep coming and coming, it gets overwhelming. And I'm sure maybe that's me being a little bit of an introvert, but I'm sure you will also kind of understand that kids knock on my door like three times a day while I'm sleeping, while I'm in the middle of things, blah, 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 and it gets a bit tiring. I'm like, please, please let me rest. Tip four you need to be okay with is getting sick a lot. Um, not necessarily sick to the point where I had to go to the, the capital city, but honestly, most of us do at some point. But getting sick from eating food or drinking bad water, it happens a lot. Like you get, your stomach's upset, you throw up, you have diarrhea, it's not fun. Um, luckily, we have these like amazing pills. <laughs> That's like the cure all. It's not really, but to me, it's the cure all. If you start to feel queasy and you're like, oh no, I'm gonna be sick take one of those and then i mean you might still be sick but you might feel like a little bit better yeah getting sick from eating food bad food or drinking bad water happens at least once a week or maybe once a month for those strong people and extra clean people but i'm not one of those i get sick a lot and i knew that even before i came to benin so here it's even worse and i expected that okay tip five you need to be okay with um, not seeing how you're making a difference. Peace Corps is all about like going out there, doing things, helping people. You're not the smartest one here. Um, things have been working before you got here. You're not coming here and you're, ch you're not changing the world. That's, that's not how it works. If anything, Benin is changing me. Well, it for sure is. But yes, um, it's very hard to see your progress. And I know maybe that's because I just got here, but also current volunteers, past volunteers, everyone will tell you this. Your progress is not going to be super visible. I'm sure there's a few milestones you can hit, yes. But you're not, I'm not going to end the school year and be like, wow, all my students passed. That's not going to happen. Um, already I know that. There's nothing I can do about it. There's teachers that are better than me and they can't do anything about that. But I can help inspire students to want to learn English or try to learn English or try harder. I can help them study. I can help them be interested in more than just life in Benin. Like that's something that's important, but it's not something you can measure and it's not something you can see really. Um, you can see it a little bit, but you're not gonna be feeling like, like you just solved all the world's problems. And I really hope you watching this does not think that you're going to, because that's not what Peace Corps is about. Peace Corps is about building connections to people in Benin, building connections from people in Benin to America, and meeting the amount of trained like people Benin wants, so teachers, um, SAS volunteers, health volunteers, Benin is asking for us. We are not here to upend the system. They want us to help to bring some new ideas. This happens in America too. It's just not the same exact thing, but yeah, you're not gonna change the world. The world's gonna change you. I'm kind of, okay, yeah, whatever. Tip six. That you have to be okay with okay you have to be okay with this please don't be mad at me um a lot of what you do in training in village is pretty useless um a lot of what you do is just menial tasks and things that don't really matter and don't make you feel like you're doing something important. If you want to feel important every day, you should not do Peace Corps. That's the truth. If you want to be here, slowly learn more about the country, slowly help out people, 
by like learning from them and them learning from you and make a few minor changes that can help people down the road and inspire people and talk to people that's what peace school is about talking to people it's like 99 percent talking to people i swear yeah so again you need to be okay with not having some big job like we are bottom rung people here even within the peace corps staff like here's peace corps staff here's like the ambassador and everything we're like right here <laughs> bottom rung okay if there's a problem during training that we want addressed it has to be like really bad to be addressed or yeah if you're like upset about something at your school you have to go through a lot of people for anything to change or maybe it won't so it's again it's kind of hard if you're coming from like somewhere with power and then you're a peace corps volunteer oh that'll be fun hello my dear subscribers i just wanted to hop on and tell you i completed my goal i made homemade naan and homemade korma curry the naan is not great, but it works, and I actually completed it, and I'm so happy. It took hours. Um, again, the naan did not work very well, but like it's still fried up and is working for dipping. And yeah, I even shared a little bit with my neighbors.